the enthalpy of combustion of alcohols. In each of the five burners, we've got an alcohol, methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, and pentanol. In each of the five copper calorimeters, we have 120 centimeters cubed of water. What we need to do is to record the mass of the alcohol burners before and after heating the water and also the temperature rise on the thermometer. First, we need to extinguish the flames. So let's start with the ethanol and the mass of our ethanol burner at the start is 193.83 193.83 grams we now need to take the temperature at the start for the water and that is reading 26 degrees centigrade 26 degrees centigrade we light the burner Place it underneath the copper calorimeter, checking the position, and start heating the water. We do need to stir the water as best we can, and our thermometer is just falling down on that one, so we need to make sure that it's not touching the base of the calorimeter, which it isn't and keep stirring as best we can. We're already up to 27 degrees centigrade, but our stirring isn't very efficient. We're now up to 28. Hopefully you might be able to see that temperature reading on the thermometer there. 29, coming up. And we just hit 30. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three, and what we'll do then is move the flame, extinguish it, and keep stirring to record the maximum temperature. We're up to thirty-four. Still rising. Residual heat in the copper calorimeter there. Thirty-five. And that looks to be as high as we're going to go for this one. Oh no, maybe a little bit more. Yes, 35 and a half, 35 and a half degrees centigrade we've reached. We now need to reweigh the ethanol spirit burner and it now reads 193.34 193.34 grams and the temperature is still 35.5 let's start the second experiment this is for propanol once more oops we light um, put the mass of the burner first this one is 228.56, 228.56. Again, let's quickly light. Place it under and we start heating and we need to again record the temperature at the start, which was 25 on this thermometer. and stir as we did before. Mm. 
In each of the calorimeters, the thermometer bulb is about a centimeter or a centimeter half from the base, which means that I can swivel the little stirrer here without having any danger of hitting the thermometer bulb. So you can see the temperature is up to 28. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, coming up to thirty two, and as we did before, we will remove the burner, extinguish the flame and keep stirring to see the maximum temperature rise. We've got up to 33. Yes, we've hit 34. Almost, yes, we are going to hit 35, 35 degrees centigrade. Let's see if that one continues to increase. We'll re-weigh the spirit burner, the propanol burner, and it now weighs 228.14, 228.14 grams for propanol. And the temperature reading is still 35 degrees centigrade. On to the next one, the butanol. Mass of the burner at the start, 222.12. It's just changed. 222.1, no, it's, it is 222.12 grams. 222.12. If you light the spirit burner, place under the calorimeter, the reading at the start there, 25. That's suspicious of the first reading that we got with the ethanol burner, but never mind. Different thermometers. And once more we heat and stir. Well, we're at 27. Thirty-three, and we'll take the burner, find some uh, uh, spirit burner out as we've done before. Extinguish the flame and keep stirring. See what temperature we can get to. We're at thirty-four. Temperature thirty-five. Just above 35. Excuse me, I would say that that's still closer to 35. Not quite hitting 35.5, are we? Um, yep, 35.5. 35.5. But that's the maximum we're going to attend with the butanol. Let's take another mass reading. Mass reading at the end now is. 221.69, 221.69 grams for the butanol. On to the next one, the pentanol. Pentanol mass reading at the start, 
215.68. Let's move this burner a little bit closer as so we knocked out of position by my hand. Temperature at the start is 25. Slightly burn as we've done before. Place it underneath the galvanometer there and start stirring. So we're starting at 25. Six twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty one, thirty two, and we'll take Grinner out there for the pencil out. Thirty two, keep stirring. Thirty two, we'll put thirty three. And then we get thirty four, thirty three and a half. Yes, 34, 34, still increasing very slightly, 34, the accuracy of our thermometer, 34, so 34, let's reweigh the pentanol, 215.68. Two one five point three four grams for the pentanol. And the thermometer reading is thirty four. Oh, it's yeah, it is over thirty four and a half. Thirty four point five. Thirty four point five maximum temperature reached. So on to the last one, which is our methanol. The burner mass at the start for the methanol one eight four point three seven. One eight four point three seven. So get rid of the light burner. Here we are. Under it goes. And temperature at the start is this thermometer is 25 and a half. 25 and a half even before. So we're going to 25 and a half. These alcohol thermometers not quite giving the same temperature at the start for the water. That's 27.
So let's take another mass reading for the spirit burn of that. The reading is now 183.72, 183.72 grams. And the thermometer is still reading 34. So there we are, the entropy of combustion of five alcohols.